He alone is all my plea. He is all When you I sing together need. and you can lift your voice in praise, it's, it's magnificent. I stopped trying to sing because it became, I could feel, you know, it was, something was grabbing my throat, you know, and I just, I wasn't comfortable anymore. So I stopped singing. I was on my way to California with my cousin, and she said, what is that on your neck? There's something wrong with your thyroid. Typically, most nodules um, are small, and they are typically asymptomatic and picked up on physical exam. As these grow larger, just by mass effect, they'll compress the windpipe or the trachea, the food pipe or the esophagus, and so people may start to get symptoms of uh, shortness of breath, they may get symptoms of trouble swallowing, uh, solid foods, and sometimes even liquids. If they grow very large, they can extend down into the chest, and in rare instances, we may need to actually split the sternum to safely remove the tumor. I started having pain uh, in my chest. Breathing was becoming labored. It was getting more and more difficult. So then we did an uh, EKG, we did a CT scan, and then they said that there is a growth on your thyroid and it's pressing on your windpipe. Now you have to go see the doctor that will do the surgery for you. Sylvia Stewart was probably one of the more uh, unusual cases in that she had a very large tumor, probably the size of about um, half a melon, and typically these tumors are readily visible externally. Despite it being so large, there was no clear evidence of there being a tumor in her neck because it was growing internally and down into the chest. When I first met Dr. Shin, I kept looking at him. I said, He's, he looks so familiar. And then it came to me that he was, he reminded me of a character actor on The Mentalist. And I said, okay, he looks like Cho. I like Cho. I reviewed the MRI with uh, Ms. Stewart, and she was quite surprised that such a large tumor was hiding in her neck. He showed it to me on the computer, and I said, wow, really? Oh my God, that's growing inside of me. He says, you could be walking around and this thing could choke you. And I said, let's get it out. Over the course of two hours, we were able to mobilize the tumor, deliver it, and then we sent it to uh, our pathologist who told us it was benign. I didn't experience any pain, no. I went in on a Wednesday and Thursday I came home. By the time I went back to Dr. Shin for my first visit when he removed the bandage, he said, nice job. And that's when I asked him, I said, what about you know, my singing? He says, if you need voice therapy, that can be arranged as well. With Ms. Stewart, fortunately, the large tumor was just a goiter, a benign tumor, and she didn't really require any further ther therapy. Since my recovery, my symptoms have disappeared completely. I don't feel any, any struggle in my throat. You know, I don't have the pain in my side that I had, or the pain under, you know, in my chest. Ms. Stewart did, did very well, and I think she was very pleased with the results, as was I. He put me back together again. Isn't he wonderful?